You're already building. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We just had a little adventure. I was getting ready to go on our walk when I checked the Facebook page for our neighborhood and somebody put out a massive box of Legos. They were really close and it was a 13 minute old post so I didn't know if that was gonna work out. It was probably gonna be gone. Okay, be careful Betty. We get there, it's gone. I had posted, we're on our way, we really want this. But then I was like, oh, okay, I guess we missed it, but thanks for the opportunity. The person who got it messaged and said, we just picked this up, I'm so sorry. Maybe we can share. Like they didn't say it right away, but then they wrote again and said, maybe we can share. We just walked to their house. They put a box out. They separated some out for us. Oh my gosh, Sebastian's so happy. back. The boys are checking out the Legos. Oh, Sebastian is so happy. You're so lucky, aren't you, Sebastian? Yeah. I gave that Minecraft spider to Jax because he has Minecraft figures out on display. But Sebastian got a few too. Jax already has. They are having a blast. And while I was unpacking them, I get a message from a name I recognize from my neighborhood group. It's a teacher who's been saving her kids old Legos. One's going off to college, one's a senior. She was gonna put them in a prize box for her classroom. Obviously now she can't go into her classroom. We are completely online learning right now and I don't think she could even give things out to anybody right now. So she's like, this is on hold. We would love to put together a bag to give you of Legos because she appreciates our rocks that we put out in the neighborhood. <sighs> There's good goodness in the world. Fail in love today. So I'm going to do the dishes and because I just like, I literally just left breakfast and dashed out the door. I'm going to do the dishes and then I think I'm going to start some rocks before nap time. We don't have a ton of time, but I need to put some more love out into the neighborhood for sure. And there's gonna be some people getting a special rock on their steps, for sure.
it is 9.15 and Sebastian is in the shower. I've got my Animal Crossing on. Not really doing anything. You can see my little person here is... Oh, she just got woke up. <laughs> She's asleep, but somebody's on their way here. Uh, one of my friends online has so much stuff in Animal Crossing. I spends a lot of time time traveling and just getting stuff. I'm sure trading all the things that I don't typically do. And she invited a few of her friends who play to come and just take stuff. So I was able to make a lot of money, double my bank account, because she put out a lot of like royal king's crowns to sell. And then I took a bunch of stuff to give to my friends, my, my Animal Crossing club. There's still like four times as much stuff there. She has a lot to deal with, but I just don't have it in me to keep going between the two islands and getting stuff and dropping it. And my town is a junky mess. I need to tell him where everything is. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, so I've got all this stuff and I just put it out for everybody. Some tickets, some gold nuggets, some rare items, things that people are struggling to find. And just, I've had that open since after dinner. I'm just letting people come and go as they need. It's only open to the people I trust. So I don't really need to watch it too much. I was doing some knitting after dinner, but let me just tell you about our day. We got up, we take our time on Saturdays and my husband baked some cinnamon rolls. We've been getting this like frozen pan of cinnamon rolls. Jackson loves them. I'm like, eh, they're fine. It's something to eat. But we have that. And then my husband went out for an eight mile walk with Siggy, despite all the sprinkles. I was just gonna do a neighborhood, but possibly go further. But right before, as I said, I saw that somebody's putting up a huge box of Legos, a huge box, like a moving box of Legos. We rush out posting, we're gonna come try and get this. They're really close to us. It was only like a five minute walk, but it was gone. At that point, it was 20 minutes after she posted. And then as I said, somebody posted after, said they got it and then offered to split. They put out a small box of Legos, which was still a ton and he was thrilled, so thrilled, so excited. And we were just like, ah, oh, the world is amazing. So we're heading back home and sorting through them and just so excited when I get a message on Facebook and it's another neighbor who has often said thank you for the rocks that we put out and she is a teacher and has been saving up her grown boys Legos and wanted to give Sebastian some of them so she just dumped some of them in a bag and ugh he was so excited. He was playing with the new Legos and then 15 minutes later, a new bag of Legos arrives on the doorstep. So we sorted through those, lots of fun pieces. And then we, let's see, Jax and my husband played Retro Pie. They were playing like Bomberman and Tetris. And I think Sebastian tried to play Burger Time. <laughs> and bubble, bubble, bubble. And then they switched to playing Othello. That was a present I got my husband for his birthday because I thought he and Jax would enjoy it. I'm gonna check and see if anybody's been typing stuff. Okay, he just said that he's on kid bedtime duties too, so he's partially AFK. So yeah, they were playing Othello and Sebastian had a snack. Well, I had a snack too. My, my hormones just are killing me. Sebastian just weaned from nursing and everything's so wreck and my intestines hurt so bad, guys. Oh, I had some Cheerios for my lunchy snack, hoping that brand the fiber but no I'm still in pain <laughs> but yeah then he wanted to take another walk we usually take a walk before nap so we did a really quickie um, 
then it was just up, I think. Yeah, we came up and it was relatively painless. He brought up a Lego car and we watched some book videos because he likes to save most of the library books to read at night. So at nap, we do the book videos. And then he napped, it was a little bit short. I feel like he woke up after an hour and a half. My husband messaged me that in a half an hour, dinner would be there because he had ordered burgers. Oh, somebody's leaving. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard the ding. I haven't really quiet, but somebody is going home. Hopefully they took some things. So I pulled out my switch because that was right around the time that my friend online had messaged me to come over and get some things. So I got to her town and then my husband messaged, the food is here, <laughs> like quickly shoving things in my pockets and I had to go down and when I sat down at the dinner table, quickly drop everything and save the game. So yeah, I finished that after dinner and then opened up my gates as I said, I was knitting. It was raining, we didn't get to walk again, which is a bummer. I still need to get 500 more steps. So I need to like really swing that arm as I walk around the house because normally when I walk across the room, it does not pick it up. But let's see, that's it. Sebastian and his daddy played Legos after dinner and and we've just gone up. That's all I got for you guys, but there's good people in the world. My little boy is feeling loved and I really appreciate it. I painted a couple rocks today. I need to paint some more before I put them out. One of my little friends is here. Got anything you want to say to the good people? Anything you want to say to the five people who watch this? Even though 200 people will follow me, five people will watch it. I don't know. Nothing? <laughs> I have no idea what to say. Alright, well, guys, good night. Safe. Oh. oh, we've changed our mind. I just got in the back home and gave my life they called Lenota. It's really fun. Oh. oh, somebody's on their way here. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to say good night and check on him. Have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe. And don't forget. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.